Well, tomorrow's Black Feminine TV. Hello, folks. I like your background, Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you. Come on up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you, know you, sh you guys shot this a while back, and it's finally coming out, which is great. So what went into saying yes when you take on this role? It's not easy taking on the role of concerned parents for a situation like we have in this movie. No, it's not easy, but it was necessary. You know, it's like... Oh, it's a, a tough story to tell, but for those it happened to, it's a tough thing to have to go through, you know? And the the project is obviously very informative. It's it's a lot of things. Um, but again, overall it's definitely necessary as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Jeffrey? Well, yeah, I'm a concerned parent. <laughs> so the story of uh, concerned parents, uh, uh, doing their best for their uh, for their for their child, uh, this young black man is uh, is a personal one for me, and I think though that um, the film you know sets itself apart because it it explores the humanity behind the statistic in a way um, that's rare. You know, here's a young man who's caught up in the system, but he's a young man who's loved. He's a young man that has a history. He's a young man that has a home. He's a young man that has a heart and a mind. And we get to, uh, you know, we get to 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 understand the consequences um, of his journey, uh, and we get to feel him um, because we explore all those sides of him. And I think that is sadly kind of rare uh, in you know in our in our culture and the way that we. Uh, we we in in the way these films are 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 made, um, and certainly in the way that um, the way that too many people perceive our stories, they don't perceive our stories as being fully human. They perceive them as the film explores from a perspective of prejudgment, and they you know perceive them at a distance. This film invites you in in a way that uh, you know allows you to uh, to feel feel something deeper and maybe ask some questions as to why we are where we are. Both of you are parents, so it's not necessarily like you needed to read the book to get an understanding. And obviously we're seeing situations every day in the news of something similar and so forth. But was there anything that dove, that gave you more depth into how to approach your characters besides being parents? Jennifer? <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about it. I can't say that it that was anything for myself i hope this makes sense i like to experience it like a character like whoever went through it went through it he didn't get a notice there was no manual to figure out how to go through this with your child so why should my character have a manual like live in that moment what in the world would i do in this situation how would we handle it like earlier someone said the way the mom looked at it was a completely different way from how the dad looked at it. And that's two different perspectives because as a the father and a man, what he experienced in his walk of life, he was probably, he had more of an understanding of it because he probably experienced it in some form or was close to home. Whereas a mom is like, oh my God, this is happening to my child. This is not how we plan this. This is not how it's supposed to be. You know, and I think that's the thing that helps make it far more real when portraying it, when you can allow yourself to live in that moment as whoever would have experienced it did. There was no preparation. There was no manual. If that, you know I mean? if that makes any sense. I think it does. You know, obviously there's never enough time to go over every angle with regarding this movie, but I thank you again for taking the time to give us your insights. Once again, I will see you hopefully in person down the road and uh, take care of yourselves. All right, well, it's you always too. good to see you, man. Take it easy. Yes. Bye.